How's it going, Weight Watchers? It is uh, week five of our high school career, and I've got good news and bad news. The good news, you're watching a new video. The bad news, uh, when I recorded this, it didn't capture uh, the, the gameplay commentary. So we get to do a, a weird little uh, abbreviated video where we're just basically watching a highlight reel of the two games that we played. Um, we started out with uh, against this team what was it bloomington or something they uh i don't know they did okay coach was calling terrible plays we didn't really get a chance to really start to get some big runs for a while you can see here at the start of the game this first quarter which is pretty much already over uh we just couldn't move the ball couldn't pick up first downs but uh they scored a field goal so we're down three nothing this is our undefeated season on the line and again, look, third and three, another suspect play call on the option from the coach here. Thankfully, Steve keeps it and is able to get the first down, but those options just haven't really worked with our offense. Now second and one, they run the toss play, and look at that. Nice little cut gets us a first down. Uh, Leo having, having an okay game so far. We saw 12 carries for 41 yards at this point. As, uh, there we go. Just run it up the middle, coach. We run it up the middle. We get plays like that, seven yards. Uh, midway through the second quarter still down three nothing of course using the reaction time on third and five to make sure that we pick up the first down and we do that in a little bit more 10 yard carry because it was a beautiful handoff and you know we, we every once in a while get some plays like that you know, running forward falling forward when we go to the outside but that's all fine and it just you know it just we're moving the ball but we're still losing so we just got to make sure that we're consistent. The coach isn't calling bad plays, but then he gives us stuff like that. A toss play, the spin move. Again, a little uncharacteristic for how we should be running with Leo, but it's just such a force of habit that I can't help but do it sometimes. Worked out. We get to a fourth and two. I call the hurry up to make sure that we can run the same play again, and we are able to convert the fourth down. It gives us uh, pretty much a first and goal where we will go out in the flat, turn it up field, catch the pass and get to the goal line so a chance now with a minute left in the first half to tie or to take the lead in this game bhs up three we eventually run it here it's a loss of yards oh man getting a little bit worried at this point they go with the uh the slot outs and we're wide open receiving touchdown for leo Pittman in the game for us to take the lead and uh here in the beginning of the second half they march down the field and kick a field goal. So it's a one-point game, 7-6, to six, as we just eventually kind of work our way along here. We're doing an okay job moving the ball. A lot of carries for not a crazy amount of yards, but, it, you know, we've had worse. We're, we're moving the ball. It's just not like we're having big plays in this game. Um, you know, midway through the third quarter, third and inches. We go with the Wildcat, and not only does it work for the first down, works for 19 yards. Biggest play, I think, of the day for us, at least up to this point. And we are just marching down the field, nearing the end of the third quarter, really trying to get to the point where we can just pick this one up. And uh, unfortunately, slip screen called there. But wait, it actually, believe it or not, doesn't work. Never does when our coach calls it. I just can't get the, the route right, but that's fine. We don't get anything on that drive, I don't think. We probably went for it on fourth down. And here in the fourth quarter, uh, still a one-point game for us. And we just need to start burning clock, I think. Neither team really able to score. Um, I think, actually, we had a fumble earlier in this game that set them up for their first field goal. How about this? The counter out of the Wildcat. Good for 18 yards. And just marching down the field, really hoping to score a touchdown at this point. I was a little bit worried. Uh, our defense is really good, but they gave up two field goals already. What's to say they wouldn't give up a third? So I was like, oh, no, undefeated season on the line. We are 50% on the day on our third down conversions, but we managed to pick that one up. And I, you can just see that clock just burning down. Unfortunately, fourth and three. Uh, do we go for this? We do. They put it on the ground. We use our reaction time and look at that. Nowhere to go. We still stumbled forward almost enough to pick up the first down, but uh, we, you know, have a turnover on downs there, so we can't extend the lead. Now, two minutes left there, starting to take their timeouts. They want to make sure that they have a chance to answer back and have at this. Run up the middle, gets us inside the 10-yard line, down to the six. 24-yard carry. That's for sure the biggest play of the game. 
And on the next play, or, or that second and goal, I guess, we finally punch it in. So it's 14 to 6. And look at this. They drive down the field so quick. 43 seconds on the clock. They, uh, well, I don't know what we're doing here. They take a penalty and then immediately after throw the touchdown pass. They're down to 35 seconds on the clock. They're going for two. And I don't know. The defense was so good for such a long time, but just couldn't stop them there. Easy walk in at two point conversion for Drew Gardner there. And it's tied up 26 seconds to go. Coach is going to the four verts play calling. And just like that, we cross midfield. We're to the 40. A field goal wins this game for us. But I don't know if a field goal matters if we can score a touchdown. In with the four verts. Steve Merkel looks to the end zone. And he has a man wide open in that front corner. Craig Ostrander, 39 yards. Gets the touchdown. 15 seconds to go. We get the extra point. And now it's basically just... Uh, can we stop them for two plays? First attempt, nine seconds to go. Quarterback feels the pressure, forced to throw that one away. So it's one final play, a Hail Mary. And he throws this one up. Oh no, intercepted. We, <laughs> we even up the turnover differential in the game. And somehow, you know, that ends the game. Somehow everything good that we did and the touchdown pass that Steve threw to, to really give us the lead, and that interception is actually going to end up being the play of the game. I don't understand it. A lot of, a lot of disrespect. We still manage to uh, come away with the win. We're still undefeated. Oh, get our fourth star on the game. 45 carries, 213 yards, and a rushing touchdown. And we had that receiving touchdown as well. 110 recruiting points. It's not the best, but it's also not the worst. So we will definitely take it. Uh, we get offers from West Virginia, Wake Forest, and Virginia Tech. Obviously, we're going to go country roads and add the Mountaineers onto our uh, our recruiting board there. Uh, Notre Dame, the only team that we haven't fulfilled the scholarship requirements as we will go to play uh, against Oakdale. 0-6, and for some reason, you'll notice, even though we're in Minnesota, uh, and I don't know, maybe there's a part of Minnesota I'm unaware of, but Oakdale has palm trees all over their high school campus. So either the designer was like from somewhere tropical and just felt really homesick and was like, yeah, we're going to make these palm trees work no matter what, or they're fake, or somehow this team isn't actually in Minnesota. But we start off this opening drive. We we uh, have the ball. Again, this is a what? An 0-6 Oakdale. We don't expect them to do well. We're 6-0, and and we're starting this game running very well. I think that was a 7-yarder, a 10-yarder, a 7-yarder. And then look at that. I ran straight into the lineman, but we still got enough for the first down. Four more yards. I mean, they just can't stop us on this opening drive. Having one hell of a game. It's about time. Past couple were pretty tough. On the counter here, second and five, just following the blockers. It's beautiful. Last game, our long was a 24. This game, we have a 22 already in the first quarter. So really moving the ball pretty well. Absolutely mowed down that linebacker. Second and one, marching down the field. We have to score a touchdown. What about this terrible play calling? Who calls a draw there? Come on, coach. So we lose two yards, third and four. Now they're going to go out to the edge, and thankfully, the blocking was fantastic. Their diving tackle misses. Can't get the stiff arm cheese into the end zone, but we still are inside the five of the first and goal, and no problem. Easy little untouched touchdown run. We take the lead early. Um, defense gets a stop. I mean... There's not a whole lot to say in this game. I'll, I'll warn you that. Um, these guys struggled to stop us both sides of the ball. You can see our average per carry is insane right now. Um, there's, you know, a few plays here and there we, where we don't get anything. I took out some terrible plays just to keep this video short because it felt a little bit weird. But at the end of the first quarter, we have a massive chunk of yards. We already have a touchdown. We get launched into the air there. If we were afraid of heights, that would probably be terrifying because that's definitely the highest Leo's ever been in his life. Just got launched five feet up. That's fine. Doesn't matter. 101 yards for us to their 32. We pick up seven more there. That's a huge chunk of their yards but for us it's nothing using the reaction time to try and get ourselves that first down it doesn't work so we're forced to punt the ball away but defense of course holds against these guys and we come out and we, we're having a lot of these big you know a 10 11 yard plays but um the play calling was suspect every once in a while which like forced us not to pick it up there's another 11 yards 
Now we get the toss. The blocking is good. We make a nice little cut. So there's another 13. And this drive, it feels like we have to score a touchdown on. Blocking out towards the edges there. We get a little stiff arm cheese. Nine yards, second and one. Just moving so, so well. And there's another first down inside the 15. And I'm just like... I just can't wait till we get to a point where we can like kind of help call the plays ourselves. But uh, for the most part, coach wasn't terrible in this game. Uh, he gets a little bit disrespectful near the end, but that's fine. And uh, I don't know. I just uh, I'm I think that maybe we might stick with this format until we get out of high school, just to make these uh, go a little bit quicker. Because honestly, I find them a little bit boring compared to uh, what I'm used to doing. You know, especially with Leo, maybe a bit of a problem considering we created a power back. But when you carry the ball 50 times a game, there's only so much that you can say uh, on a play when you when you're trying to commentate. So we might uh, go with some abbreviated videos. But um, I don't know. Let me know how you guys feel about this format. It's very quick. It's uh, it's a lot of carries, but. This way we don't have to see the terrible, terrible play calling. I've tried to keep in a couple of the bad plays to, to set up the story, but I mean, 13-0. We apparently missed an extra point, so that had me worried at that point. I was like, oh no, like what is our kicker doing to miss an extra point? But like, I mean, it's we're against Oakdale. We got palm trees. It's like fall and there's palm trees. We must be somewhere warm, so we're going to do it amazing because it's not freezing cold. I think that's probably how it would work. I imagine anybody from Minnesota would love not to be in like the, you know, negative or below zero temperatures they're having right now. <laughs> but yeah, we just continue to move the ball. And uh, I mean, I, I honestly think that the biggest things for us to improve are just like our stamina. And I don't know. I mean, if we can go to a team with good run blocking, that's not really something we could improve, but those are the two things that would keep us just constantly moving. We have to settle for a field goal. So that that makes me feel a little bit more comfortable about our kicker. He missed an extra point, but hits the field goal. 16-0. Uh, we're in the fourth quarter already. And, you know, so we're going to start just continuing to run the ball. We don't expect Oakdale to take any timeouts. I mean, they're, they're winless on the season. It would be foolish of them to extend this game. That's just going to make them look worse, but... Uh, we're definitely going to continue to try to pick up yards. You can see there are 47 carries for like 250 yards. It's pretty impressive. There's a big one. We get down to the goal line, and look at this disrespect, right? We get them to the goal line, and Coach calls a play-action pass that doesn't come towards us, so we do all the work to get towards the end zone. Coach allows Steve to throw a touchdown to somebody else. So the next drive, I'm like, okay, well, that's annoying, but we're still running. We're still picking up the yards. I think at this point we are over 50 carries or we're right around 50 carries. <laughs> and it's like, okay, how long is this game going to go? Are we going to have a chance to break 60? Three and a half minutes, we just continue to mob down the field. And, uh, well, we, we just are getting the yards. We're breaking tackles. Like, honestly, it, it felt nice to play against these guys just because of how dominant it was. It's like uh, if we go to like Alabama and end up playing Rutgers, what that would feel like. So 14 yards on that gear. You can see that 53 rushes, 297. At this point, I'm like, okay, let's just make sure that we get 300 yards on the day. We do it there. It puts us up to like 303 or 304. And then again, we do all the work to get inside the five. Calls, coach calls the exact same play action pass and doesn't allow us to get the touchdown. Like pure disrespect. Two drives in a row. We do all the work to uh to march down the field and then coach brings us out with the last two minutes doesn't let us play we end up winning the game 30 to nothing uh, but just like really i do all the work to get us to the goal line and then you don't give me the touchdown pure disrespect we go 54 carries for 304 yards and two rushing touchdowns 145 recruiting points is fantastic and now we've got uh, our full scholarship offers from notre dame and west virginia and we get offers uh, new ones now from Wisconsin, Wake Forest, and Virginia Tech. Uh, obviously, we knew we weren't going to go for uh, Wisconsin, and I was between, I don't know, I was like, I don't really like Virginia Tech, so we decided to go with the Demon Deacons. We had them to our board, and you can see there, ranked now in the top 150 in our class, we are 128, 910 recruiting points. Our next game will be on the road again, or no, at home again, but again against an, uh, a winless team in Egan. Not sure if that's how you say it, but I mean, 
I don't know, not the happiest with how this episode turned out because we had all that work getting the uh, the commentary, but they, they take it away from us because OBS changed some settings and wouldn't record my, uh, my mic for some reason. I didn't notice until literally right as I hit the stop recording button at the end. But if you've made it this far, thanks for watching. It was a short one, so not a crazy amount to get through, but uh, I appreciate you guys for for sticking around. Um, if you've already subbed, thank you so much for that. But if you haven't, please feel free to do so. And while you're down there, of course, head to the description. There's links to our Twitch at twitch.tv slash goonmaster. This was a link to my Twitter and our community Discord. But regardless, thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Goonmaster. You guys are the Weight Watchers. <laughs> and wherever you are, have a good night or have a good morning. We'll see you later. Adios.